So we read the Bible. Read. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, uh -huh. yet shall not thy teachers be removed in a corner anymore. Your teachers ain't going to be in no building no more. They're going to be right in the street where you I see them. Read on. Listen to them. God is not talking to nobody face to face. Yes, that's why I'm here. Watch this, Isaiah 30. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove that I was sick. Watch this. Any? Do any? Look, listen to this. Do any Christian pastor on Sunday come out here and teach our people on the corner? When? What's their name? What's their name? On Saturday. Where? And on what day do they come and stand up here and answer people's questions? Yep. You got any questions about the Bible? He said, some were sick. And any some questions about the Bible? Do you read the Bible? Yeah, I, I, do you sure believe you the Bible? Yeah, I believe the Bible. You okay. So if you Bible believe the Bible, do anybody, do Christian pastors God ever come out here and teach our people in the neighborhoods that we live in and the projects where we all grow up? We all grew up in the hood. Shoot, we still live in the hood. It is what it is. But we don't mind coming out here to teach our people because we know our people don't get the answers from the pastors because we are the ones that God sent. Watch this. I'm finna show you. I'm finna prove it. I'm about to prove it. I'm about to prove it. Let's listen to the scripture. Read. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yes. Because our people have been given adversity and affliction. We getting killed in the streets. And beaten down, we cannot even go two blocks away and buy a house for a million dollars. Right next to the hood. But our people don't go that way. They come this way and rob each other and kill each other. Now, we're not advocating that we go rob nobody. But the issue is that our people are so fearful of everybody else. Say what now? Ain't nobody can buy a house around here. That's a lie. People around here buying houses now. But they don't look like us. Because I just walked the block. I just went over there. Our people don't own them. They outside chilling. Read that again from the top. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity uh -huh. and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed in a corner anymore. Your teachers ain't going to be in no building no more. That's what that said. That's your pastor right. ain't going to be in a building no more. Right. So the ones that's in the building on Sunday ain't the ones God sent. That's Read. right. But thine eyes shall see thy... Wait a minute. Your eyes shall do what? shall see thy teacher. Where are we where our people can see us right in the hood? Bring it in out. the street. I don't mind going but out. your pastor That's don't come why here. I'm here. No pastor That's comes why here. I'm here because I want to join. But if you want to join, Miss Brenda, right. you... But I want to join with the right people. Well, Miss Brenda, how do you know who the right people is? God, so you since we've been here? You are, not. are we reading the word of God? So she God. wants to join people that will let her do whatever she want to do even if it's against God. That's not how we roll. Read that again. Isaiah chapter I don't got a fast talk. We're reading the Bible. Read. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed in a corner anymore. Your teachers ain't going to be in no building no more. They're going to be right in the street where you see them. Read on. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Read on. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying. Now you're going to hear a word behind you. Just like you was walking and we stopped. Watch the word we're going to say. Read. This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. We're trying to tell our people the Bible is the way. Right. Walk ye in it. Because so far your way. whole life you have God not heard the truth. He yes. Yes, he did give me more God knowledge than he gave uh -uh, you so you far. Because you don't know the laws of God. I do. I know. I know one of You didn't even know the Sabbath day. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart. How do you do that? I ain't talking about no day. How do you do that, Miss Brenda? Praise him. Get a relationship. How do you do that? Accept him as Jesus how? Christ as your Savior. You see, she didn't tell me and you how. Watch this. First John 2. We're going to read it out of the Bible how. We're going to read it out of the Bible if you got a relationship, if you really know God. <laughs> you got what I want? Read that. First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how we know we know God. Watch this. I know, Dominic, but God got you standing here for a reason. Read. If we keep his commandment. If 
we do it. Keep his commandments. Do it. Keep his commandments. So if we keep the commandments, she got blowing her. That's a sin in the Bible. She's unclean to God right now. Because what people have blind her? I was just going to take a shower. Uh -huh. hey. hey, that's what it is. My mother that's across the street. What? My, my brother and sister right here, Miss Brenda. Miss Brenda, what does the Bible say about a woman being loud in the street? What does the Bible say about a woman being loud? What does it say? You be loud. That's because I'm a man. I'm supposed to be. You're, You're not a man. You're you speaking about virtuous women or uh, numbers? All of them. It don't tell you nowhere in the Bible where the woman should be loud. Nowhere. You're a false prophet. So Prove you, it. You're trying to make yourself look like you're real. Prove but you it. a false prophet. Prove it. You're proving it by telling Prove people it. what day to go to church. Oh, I'm, oh so you're I'm wrong false. because I'm giving the laws? You know what? That's what they said about Christ too. They said he was a wine bibble. What you got? Yeah, Proverbs nine thirteen. Let's see. Watch this. Watch this. Let's see what the Bible. How y'all doing? Hey, my sister right here. What race of people have blonde hair? What she say? What race of people are born with blonde hair? What she say? Huh? She said white people. Now hold that. Now watch this, Proverbs 3.31. Let's see what the Bible says about our, if we're false prophets and we're just telling our people the truth. Our people just don't like the truth. Proverbs 3.31, read that. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. Ain't white people our oppressors? God says, envy them not. Do not envy them. Read on. And choose none of his way. And do nothing they do. So if they got blonde hair, why would you put it in yours? God says, don't yeah. do it. Now let's go back to Proverbs 9. Read that. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. Uh -huh. A foolish woman is clamorous. Uh -huh. She is simple. And it says, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple. Read on. And knoweth nothing. And she don't know anything. Read on. For she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in the high places of the city. And she's in the high places of the city. Go ahead. To call passages who go right on their way. I want the one where she's loud. It says she's loud. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Proverbs 7. Verse 7. Proverbs 7. Proverbs 7. Yes, that's it right there. Read verse, uh, uh, read verse 10. Read that. Bring it Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10. And behold, there met, a, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. Because our women walk around dressing like harlots, like prostitutes. They expose their body. They wear tight. Look, they look. They wear tight clothes and everything else. God says they're supposed to be shame faced. They're supposed to be modest. Read. And subtle of heart. And they are subtle of heart. They all set in traps. That's why they are trapping all our men up. They'll have a baby and then lock them up because they put them on child support. Go ahead. She is loud and she is what? Loud. She is what? Loud. She is what? Loud and stubborn. And stubborn. Our women, I have a woman in front of me, loud and stubborn. But you don't want to hear the Bible. I was trying to avoid going there with you because I was trying to deal with you, but you won't quit. Read it again. She is what? She is loud and stubborn. Her feet about it not in her house. Because the women are supposed to be keepers at home. Why is a grown woman out here talking to men in the street? Why grown people? Why is she out here arguing? It'd be different if she came to answer a question. Listen, I ain't holding you, you here, Dominique. We're not making you stay. But I, I you're staying because I'm what we're saying is true. Lord, so That's you know. why you're standing there. No well, one, no me. one put a brick on your foot and told you not to move. <laughs> you stayed because what the Bible was saying, you heard what it said, and you was like, yo, these brothers read this out the Bible. And we just read about her out the Bible. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10. Uh, yeah. And behold, uh, 11. verse 11. She is loud and stubborn. Uh, her feet abided not in her house. Read on. Now, is she without? Now, is she without? Are you married? That ain't none of your business. Okay, she's not married. Read on. Are you married? No, yes, I am. Oh, I saw yes, you with our wife. You're probably teaching her the wrong Actually, thing. my wife loved me uh -huh. to death. Go ahead. She now, in the street. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. It says now she is without. Oh, 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 she is without a hedge. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead. What, what, the wife, you can only have one? Yes. Really? Yes. 
That's what the Bible says. That's what God says. That's what the Bible says? Did Adam and Eve, did Adam have more than one wife from the beginning? That's what Adam had. Okay, what did God say? Look at Do you believe in the Bible? You said you believe yeah, in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the Bible. So now, in the Bible, what it said? Let's look at First Kings 11. Oh, praise Now let's go to the new. Let's read First Kings, because we know the kings had, had multiple wives. Is that what he want? Uh, yeah, read that. Read that. First Kings chapter 11, verse 3. Read verse 1. Verse 1. Watch this. But King Solomon loved many strange women. King Solomon loved what? Okay. Many strange women. So we're reading about King Solomon, right? Now, King Solomon had many strange women. Let's see what happened. Let's see if that was lawful for him to do. Read. Together with the daughter of Pharaoh, uh -huh. woman of the Moabites. Uh -huh. Watch this. So he had, he had Egyptians as his wife. Ammonites. Moabites, which is Chinese people. Ammonites, which is a uh, 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 Japanese people. Go ahead. Edomites. He was the king of Israel. Read on. That's right. Ye shall not go. Ye shall not. Read. Go into them. Neither shall they come in unto you. So he was not supposed to deal with them, but he did anyway. Right. So he was in sin because God said, don't do it. He did it anyway. Go ahead. For surely they will turn away your heart after their God. So they're going to turn away our men's heart just like they did with Solomon to follow idolatry. Go ahead. Solomon claimed unto these in love. And he claimed, he cleaved unto those women of another race. And he loved them so much that he went into sin. Go ahead. Read the verse he asked for now. And he had 700 wives, uh -huh. princesses, and 300 concubines. Uh -huh. And his wives turned away his heart. And his wives did what? Turned away his heart. Now go to Nehemiah and let's read what if God said it was a literal sin. If he gave us the word sin. Because we just read that God said don't deal with these other nations of women. Do not do that. They're going to take you away. And then we're going to go and read about Adam. Go ahead. Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 23. Uh -huh. In those days also saw I Jews that I marry wives of Ashdod, uh -huh. of Ammon, uh -huh. and of Moab. So they marry some of the same women that Solomon married. Read on. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language. Because whenever we go out here and have babies by these other races, they do not know their heritage. Hey, they hey. grow up like they mama. Hey. That's why they do Christmas. That's why our people walk around here following that stuff. Go ahead. But according to the language of these people, uh-huh. And I contended with them. He contended with them. They had a fight. Read. And cursed them. And he cursed them. And smoked certain of them. And he hit some of them. And plucked off their hair. He pulled their birds off their face. And made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons. You shall not. He forced them to do what God said. Because he understood when they was doing so, he was going to be put into slavery. Go ahead. Nor take their daughters unto your sons. Do not take them to yourselves. Read the very next verse. Oh, oh, Go ahead. Or for yourselves. Uh -huh. Now watch this. Watch this. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by... Did not Solomon do what? King of Israel, sin by these things. Solomon sinned when he did that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is that what the Bible says? Let me say something. Is that right? what the Bible says? Okay, the Bible okay said, so right? your reference was okay. very bad. Okay, well, All right. let's, let's look at this. Yes. You just admitted it. He pulled out their hair. Right? Yeah. He cut off their beds, right? How yeah, did, he put it how, out. Did, uh, how did Samson get caught? Because he let that evil woman cut his braids, his dread or braids off. But didn't he dreads. just do the same thing by just cutting them? He just made them weak. So they ain't ready for war. Who? He just did the same thing that Delilah did to No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Don't jump topics. I ain't jumping is it, topics. Is it I'm sin. just showing you the same is it thing. A that sin? You did. Is it a sin to have all these women by other races? But is it Bible a sin? Say, I mean, didn't the Bible say judges ought to be judged first? Wow. I mean, we're talking about the Bible. Right? Yes, it does. Okay. I don't have that, so okay. I can judge them. Okay. So if I'm not doing it, that means I could tell someone else they're wrong. You're wrong if that's what you think. Right. Thank you. I'm wrong. You're that's wrong if that's what you think, because I don't do that, because the Bible said don't. So therefore, I can judge you. Okay. Matter of fact, read that in 1 Corinthians, where it tells us to judge all things. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual, judges all things. But he that is spiritual, do what? Judges all things. So I can judge. Judges all things. Thank you. Yeah, you what about that scripture? You say that and just forget about that. I mean, you just, you just, we're talking about the Bible, right? Yes, this is the Bible we're reading. Well, you just met, we just admitted that the Bible is a contradiction. It's not without contradiction. Let's yeah, read Matthew 7. You, what? I'm going to read that scripture that you said. Now we're going to read down, not just the first verse that everybody knows. Read. Matthew.
Matthew, take us. Read this thing into the sister, right? Read yep. this. Matthew, take us 7 verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. Say, judge not that ye be not judged, right? Yep. Watch this. For with what judgment be judged? They shall be judged. So if you judge somebody on a matter, you're going to be judged the same way. So if I tell you, brother, you can't have these wives by all these women. You can't have a whole lot of wives. And if I got a whole lot of wives, I'm going to be judged for that same thing. But if I don't, oh, I can judge. Watch and see if it say that. Read on. And with what measure ye meet, uh -huh. it shall be measured to you again. So if you judge someone harshly and you don't fix it yourself, you're going to be judged harshly. Read on. And why beholdest thou the moat that is in thy brother's eye? So I'm looking at my brother and he got a big old moat in his eye. He got a moat in his eye, meaning he got an issue. He got a problem. Read on. But consider it not the beam that is in thine own eye. So my brother will have a, a moat in his eye, but I got a big giant beam in mine and I have not fixed it. So I'm going to tell you to fix yours if I ain't fixed mine. Yeah. So like if I'm stealing and you stealing, but I tell you to stop stealing, but I'm still stealing. God says, that's a sin. Right. But if I'm not doing that, I can correct you and tell you you're wrong. Right. You're wrong, Dominic, because I ain't doing that. You I, you're admitted, wrong. You just admitted by this man reading this that it's prohibited to judge. No, it did not say prohibited. It said if you read on down. Good what gracious, happens if you life. judge the next man for what he just read? Or it means I'm going to be judged. Okay. If I'm in sin in the same way, if I'm not, I'm good. So that means I have to fix me first before I come and tell you to fix Everybody you. Everybody has sin, man. But I don't got the one that you're talking about. Okay, so that don't mean that you ain't going to be judged. But that you means, I, could, that that you means I can tell you the one that you're doing wrong. If I'm not we're doing it, about, okay, you can't but do that. About, but we're talking about the Bible, right? Yes. The Bible says that no one is perfect. Good grief. All praises to the most. I what you got, read. So rock, chapter 45, verse 26. God give you wisdom in your heart. To judge his people. To do what? Judge his people. To do what? To judge his people. Read on. In righteousness. In righteousness. Righteousness is the laws of God. So, you so I can judge okay. my people according to God's laws. Okay. So you just contradicted everything that did not contradict want. nothing in Matthew. It was saying the exact same thing in Matthew. Right. I don't want to talk to you no more, man. Because, because the you, Bible, the Bible is no, right, and you're you wrong. You don't have no understanding. If you just, if you oh, comprehend. Wow. Uh, Everything that you just read the first time, it just blatantly told you that you are prohibited. It didn't say that. It, it said say that, you cannot judge your brother if you have the same problem he got. So you're the one said you can have multiple wives. Matthew chapter 19 verse 4. You know? And he answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Uh -huh. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother. And shall cleave to his wife, uh -huh. and they twain shall be one flesh. Read. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. So he gave uh, one man to one up. wife. Go ahead, because our people think they can just get divorced and get multiple wives, because it goes right uh -huh. along with it. Read on. What therefore God have joined together, let not man put asunder. Because if God brought it together, ain't nobody gonna break it up. But the problem is a lot of our marriages are not brought together by God. That's why 25% of black women get married. You know. 25. Because we don't want to do what God said. 25, one out of four black women get married in a lifetime. That ain't saying they stay married either. They get married, period. Go ahead. They say it to him. Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement uh -huh. and to put her away? Uh -huh. He said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart. So because of the evil of our people's minds, I wouldn't do that if I was you. That's a sin too. Go ahead. Suffer you to put away your wives. But from the beginning, it was from the beginning, it was not so. Because it was only Adam and Eve. It didn't say Adam and Eve and then another woman. Now let's go to Deuteronomy. What was the one in Deuteronomy you said? 17. Yeah, yeah, 17. 17. Now let's see if we're supposed to multiply wives to ourselves. Because that's what it says. You shall not multiply wives to yourselves. Unbelievable. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 16. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, uh -huh. nor cause the people to return to Egypt, uh -huh. to the end that he shall multiply horses. Uh -huh. For as much as the Lord hath said unto you, he shall not henceforth return no more that way. Read. Neither shall he multiply wives to him. No, 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 no. We can have a 
whole lot of wives. He can have a lot of wives, brother. Neither shall he multiply wives to himself. Wow. That's the Bible. Go ahead. That his heart turn not away. That his heart turn not away. So you're not supposed to multiply wives so your heart don't turn from God. All right, thank you. I'm going to do what I'm going to do regardless. Yeah, and you're going to die like God said. Right. God said that's what you're going to do. Matter of fact, we was meditating on this earlier coming up the street. We're going to read it. Matter of fact, let's go to 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 55. This is what our people do. We try to come out here and teach them, and they don't want to hear it. They say they're going to do what they want to do. They're going to die. Read that. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 54. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Uh -huh. Because our people look at everybody just like Ezra. He was asking God or, or the angel about everybody that had died. Just like our people look at our people and be like, yo, they're having fun. They're going to perish. What is the nation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nation is men leading by example.